everybody. Today I'll show you how to make this bicycle bag slash chest rig. This is my first draft and here I've got the pockets and straps kind of figured out. I'm still not sure how to reinforce this area so that I can mount a small camera and not get the rig bended and swinging around like crazy. I'll be posting this pattern on my box so now we can start with making the pockets. I've added time codes to the tutorial, so feel free to jump around to a chapter that interests you. First, we'll figure out how to make a pattern for a cargo pocket. We'll start with the actual pocket size that we want. Then we will add some extra space here to finish the pocket's opening. We also need some seam allowances around the sides and bottom. This will be the pattern for our pocket's body. For the flap, I want it to be 2 centimeters wider than the pocket piece and the length long enough to cover the opening. You can round the bottom edges of the flap. It's optional aesthetic step. Now we'll figure out the gazette part of the pocket, which is just a fancy word for the sides. Measure the size and bottom for the length and we will make the width 6 cm. All of this includes seam allowances. So this will give me a pocket depth of about 3.5, almost 4 cm. Okay, now I will show you how to sew it up.
I've got my three pockets sewn and now we will sew it onto the chest bag. When you pin the pockets, pin about one centimeter away from the edges. You see that I've sewn the ends of the zipper tape onto itself to create a clean edge and also chopped up some of the zipper teeth here. I think my zipper pocket is pretty lame. It looks so flat. It should have a gusset too. So I'll figure that out in my second draft. To sew the cargo pockets, mark the actual pocket size onto the chest rig. It will help you sew in a straight line. Fold the gazette back one centimeter and mash the sides of the gazette to the line and sew around the pocket. I tried using a piece of packing foam to stiffen up the rig, but it was not hard enough. The camera mount was too heavy for it and it droops down. If I wear this, it will swing around. So I decided to use hard cardboard, like those used for book covers. I glue it onto another piece of backing. It was sturdy enough, but it looks so weird when I wear it. It's like I'm wearing a, a box. So I figured that I only need to interface the neck area and I chopped off the rest of the cardboard. For the crisscross straps to work, I need to make a strap holder that allows the strap to be adjustable. Both the strap can slide through and it also needs to hold the straps together. So this is how I make a double loop kind of strap holder. I've seen some chest rigs that have like a mesh backing but I wanted to keep it light and simple and easy to wear so this is what I 
make instead. So one can go in this way, one can go in this way. Yeah, I didn't pop see cow. You can't see this. Okay. 